video, I wanted to show you all a few tricks that I recently learned while I was working with non-advanced placement. And while I did do a video a little while back showing a few tips and hacks on how to do certain non-advanced placement builds, I wanted to show you some of the new things that you're able to do while also featuring some of those old tips just to see what's changed and to see if those same tips still apply. With that being said, let's jump into it. Before we get started, I did want to show you all which game passes I do currently have purchased. If you see here, the game passes that I have purchased have a green check mark over them, while the game passes that I have not purchased, if you hover over them, it will actually show you the cost um, of those particular game passes. And as you can see there, um, advanced placement uh, has not been purchased. Now if we go into build mode, I just wanted to show you all once again, here's my toggle object collision, that's your advanced placement, it is turned off, and if I click on that, it says you must own advanced placement game pass to do that, so we're just going to click no, because we don't want that. So I did want to mention to you all that I'm going to try my best not to talk too much through this video. I think some of these builds can actually be self-explanatory, but I do think some of them need a little bit further explanation um, because some of them can be very fickle and you have to do it exactly the way that's being shown, otherwise you'll run into problems where it doesn't work. Um, for this particular one, we're trying to set the plant uh, to look like it's hanging from a beam or a rafter or whatever you want to call it. And to do that, we have to set the plant first. Um, it can't be put the other way around. If you try to put the plant underneath the light, it's not going to give you the ability to do so as it's showing right here. It's highlighting red. Um, so just make sure that you place the plant first where you want it to go and then put the light over it. Now something interesting that I came across while I was building with non-advanced placement is that if you use these larger doors like this, you can actually use the fences um, and put them through them. There are a few other uh, builds where I use this for other things, but that will be later on in the video. And yes, it is quite helpful when you want to be able to put um, fences through walls just for various different purposes, but just for this one, you can leave it this way if you choose.
for the skills we're going to be using roughly about the same technique. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody who has worked with non-advanced <laughs> with non-advanced placement knows that when you're trying to put pillars through a wall, you have to set the pillars first and then place the wall through it um, like this. And it has to be set on a point um, on the grid, as you see here. Um, you can't set it afterwards. And for this one, you can actually use these particular door frames. It has to be these specifically, um, or either the taller doors in order to put the fence through them, um, as I'll show a little bit later. Uh, but for these, you can add the fence going through it just to kind of look like, I guess, like a little floorboard or a step, um, and then just add the fence that you want around it, just like that. Now you can use other types of doors. Um, if you delete the door that you initially used uh, to set the fence, you can actually delete that and put other doors in place or windows um, to give it a different feature and it will just set on top perfectly. Um, so that way you can kind of change the look of uh, the window option or the design that you're trying to go for. I'll go ahead and show you um, using a different type of door and how it doesn't work if you want to make a little bit smaller porch which I think about porches are usually about two squares deep um, going back so these are the taller um, doors which you would think would typically or should work with those fences um, but as you can see here it will not work for whatever reason, and I think that's just because the door is not wide enough, it doesn't go all the way to the side, so it, there's a collision problem. Um, with these, I think it sort of tricks it into thinking that there's nothing there. So if you use the skinny doors, the skinny tall doors, you can actually put your fence through them and just keep moving it around and just keep placing your fence. And once you have your fence placed, you can change the door out or window or whatever you want to place there. I was so excited to find that this actually could work with non-advanced placement. Um, once again, using the very same method that we used before, you can actually use these tall doors once again. Um, and it has to be this specific one. The other one won't work very well for whatever reason. Um, and you just place the object that you want to go through the wall and basically just delete the door afterwards. And here I made a decal um, like I did in one of my kitchen videos, so that way you can have it look like it's a double stack um, oven, or wall oven for that matter. <laughs> So 
So this tip pretty much utilizes the same feature as the previous one using the same type of door. Um, I think this one's a little bit wider. Uh, you can actually make a very simple crib by putting it slightly, giving yourself the ability to put a bed slightly through the wall and then putting a fence around that just to kind of simulate a very basic type of crib. So for any of you that wanted to be able to do a crib but didn't have advanced placement, you can actually do it this way. This build is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, it doesn't really require a lot of explanation. It is very specific in that um, when you are placing uh, your microwave to look like it's coming through the cabinet, you do need to have your cabinet placed first and then um, have your pillar that has your microwave um, you want to place that underneath. For whatever reason, if you try to place the pillar first and then try to place the cabinets over it, it won't go that way.
mentioned earlier, you can use these uh, tall doors. Uh, I know I've been using that a lot, but they're very, very useful in doing um, non-advanced plate or doing uh, advanced placement with non-advanced placement capabilities. So for this, um, really, honestly, any type of window or um, unique feature that you want to make, uh, you can basically use that tall door to place the fence and then use whatever window or door that you want over it um, to basically make any type of design that you want to do. video um, I was showing how you can place wall decals and how very specific it is for you to place those wall decals in order for it to work and sure enough you still have to place um, the bottom painting first and then place the top one over it there's also a section in that video where I was showing that for these particular type of pillars um, there was a side of the wall where you could push it right really close up against the wall um, and that looks like that is no longer the case. Uh, there, is, there are these particular pillars um, which will completely go together um, and here I am I'm just testing a bunch of them just to see how they place. Um, that was the other thing with these more slender pillars is that um, there was also a way you could place them where they would um, fit really close up against each other, um, which is also no longer the case anymore either. Also in going through some of the old video tricks, I was testing some of the building hacks that I um, have was able to do with non-advanced placement just to see if any of them had changed. Um, so here I'm just showing those same tricks again. Uh, for the bed one, you do have to take the window out first and then place the bed. Um, and as I had mentioned in the other video, in order to make kind of a nook bed, um, as we hit, as we have here, you have to make sure the uh, outside wall is left open and then placed once the bed has been set in place. And as you can see here, it looks like this still pretty much um, holds to be about the same. It doesn't look like there's a lot that has changed. There's some little quirks to it uh, that are a little bit different, like you can't put the pillars really close up against the wall. That is until I found out that you can actually put the pillars really close up against the wall, but you have to do it this way where it's about a block away from the line um, and then you place the wall and it will actually set really close up against the wall that way as it's showing here. So that's the way I finally figured out you had to do it. I did also want to try out the mermaid room hack where you could actually put the um, decal on the wall and then put a window over it 
and they end up finding out that that no longer works um, because of whatever they've changed in the game or tweaked, you can no longer use this hack. However, because they added that nice little door um, and it kind of helps, I guess, uh, it messes with the object collision capability of our coding or whatever, you can actually um, do this hack by doing it this way instead, um, using the tall door and putting a fence through it and then using some shelves um, and putting that behind it. The next trick I wanted to test out was the space room, I believe, just to see if you could still place a uh, shelf really close to the bed over the top, and it looks like for the most part that one still works. You still have to um, sort of set the bed in place and then pull the shelf down where you want it to be. This next tip didn't seem like it changed all that much with the exception of the how the detail has to be placed. Before, I want to say you didn't have to worry about um, setting the decal before the bed. Now you definitely have to set the decal before you place the bed. And then last but not least, I actually wanted to see if my uh, platform thing that I did for one of my videos um, actually worked with advanced placement. I didn't think that it would need advanced placement, but I just wanted to try it out just to see if it was required at all. Um, so here I am just kind of building that same little platform. Also just wanted to make sure that you could place a staircase without needing any of the multiple level game passes, which you don't. You just gotta make sure that the roof is not turned on. I guess if you wanted to make like an obby or some shelves, um, you could actually use the platform this way because apparently it will go through the walls if you do it specifically this way. Um, also, if you wanted to have a platform bed, um, you can use the stairs. And if you wanted to push the bed through the wall, you can apparently use the stairs um, to do it that way. And for whatever reason, the object collision does not recognize um, that there's an object going through it, I guess because the object is the stairs and the bed 
it just it doesn't recognize that the bed is part of it. Um, so you're able to get away with actually pushing furniture through a wall um, utilizing this particular method. There's no real uh, tip or hack here. It was just interesting when I was playing around with it that you could actually do this. So I, if there's anything you guys can think of that would be fun to use that for, hey, there you go. At least you know now that you don't need advanced placement to be able to do that specific sort of thing. I do want to test this out and just make sure that I won't fall through it and that if you did want to use this for some type of hobby, um, you can stand on it. And it looks like you can without any problems. So that pretty much does it for this video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope these tips um, helped you all out or give you guys some ideas. Please feel free to use them however you'd like along with anything else on my channel. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for sticking around. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and week. Bye!